Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily Jones. I am a former paparazzi consultant. I just speak out against paparazzi and all the shitty things that they do. Yes, I'm going to be a little bit salty, spicy, and feisty today. Yes, that is a word. If someone doesn't own it, I'm going to use it today because I feel a little bit of it, okay? So, I'm a little fired up and here's why. Um, there, you know, when someone big, when someone big quits paparazzi, the spies go on a rampage and they start reporting to compliance like you would not believe. They go crazy looking for all the defectors. And why do I put it that way? Because that's exactly what they do. We have defectors that we have spies that go and look for the defectors. And what do they consider a defector? Oh, somebody that supports anti-MLM content, someone that su supports me, someone that supports um, pretty much anything. So I'm just going to pull this picture up and let me make it big. You have been participating in the disparagement of paparazzi. Your account is canceled. You are not eligible to re-enroll. We have canceled your order from yesterday and, hand, and have credit your form of payment. You will not be able to come back. If your account is suspended or canceled, all of your communication regarding your account must be addressed to compliance at paparazziaccessories.com. Consultant support will not be able to assist you. If you respond to the suspension notice in the same email, your reinstatement will be processed faster. Okay. It has come to our attention that you are in violation of paparazzi's policy and procedure, section 4.14, which states as follows. Consultants may not use disparaging remarks in relation to paparazzi corporate staff, employees, directors, officers, or any other representative of paparazzi, including but not limited to other independent consultants. Now, here's the thing. This person who sent me this has never commented or shared one of my videos. They have privately communicated with me. Privately. So, the only thing we can think of is that there's a spy, and I believe I found one yesterday and eliminated them from my Facebook group, but the only thing I can think of is if it's a spy. And, or, the other thing we're thinking is that because she shared a video that was in the in the $5 Bling Bosses group, she shared an opportunity live to her, her, her Facebook page. That's disparaging because remember, uh, Blingzilla uh, does not like anyone to share her content because it's hers. And you can't share it because it's hers. She owns the intellectual property. And if you share it outside of her group, you're in violation because she made everybody sign a non-disclosure agreement. Okay then. Yes, I'm pausing for effect. All right. Consultants are to conduct their business with positivity in a manner that uplifts everyone. Pardon me for a moment. Okay. Positivity in a manner that uplifts everyone. You don't own a business. Number one. Think of that. But you're supposed to conduct your business like you own a business, but you don't own jack shit. Okay? You don't own a business. Nobody owns a business. Okay? The only people that own a business are the people who, who own paparazzi jewelry and accessories. Outside of that, you guys are all independent consultants buying wholesale from them. And the thing is, is... Buying wholesale from them, you're not even buying it at wholesale because you're overpaying so they can pay the uplines, their commission and bonus checks. So it's not even wholesale. It's it's a ripoff is what it is. <coughs> Pardon me. <coughs> I'm still recovering. Uh, comments made by consultants that may be negative in nature and relate to others potentially damage their own business. The business of others and the paparazzi brand. Paparazzi, can I just say this again? You have disparaged your own brand by not being transparent, honest, uh, upstanding, being fair in your dealings, being, uh, you know, it's like, hmm. 
Should I get the articles of faith out again for you, paparazzi? We believe in being true, chaste, benevolent, you know, virtuous, kind, and of good report. Everything about your policy and procedures is a direct, uh, mm, no, don't think so. Mm -mm. But, you know, let's use, you know, religious manipulation. Well, I'm going to use your religion to manipulate you into showing you what hypocrites you are. Because you are hypocrites. You know, you, you you release this inspirational shit jewelry to show your dominant religion, Christianity. But here's the thing. We in the United States of America have freedom of religion. Okay? Freedom of. Meaning you can be free to choose which religion you practice or not practice. And I'm getting real sick and tired of the, the nationalists out there telling me that we are a Christian nation built on Christian principles. No, we are a nation that fled religious persecution. We wrote Bill of Rights and a Constitution and a Declaration of Independence so people could be free to choose to worship how they wish, where they wish, when they wish, however they wish. And freedom from having religion shoved down their throats. If you don't understand that part of history, you need to go get a book, open it, and read it. Okay? And I think paparazzi needs to open a freaking history book and read it. Consultants should be courteous, polite, and always seek amicable resolution to any disagreement or dispute. Here's the deal, paparazzi. Why do we have to do that? We shouldn't have to, okay? We shouldn't have to look for an amicable solution to the fact that you just uh, willy-nilly take someone's word over someone else's word and, you know, cancel them. It's very Mean Girls of you. It's very Regina George of you. And I'm, I'm sorry. But if you want to keep that culture where the blingzilla followers and cult uh, fanatics, because, yeah, that's what I'm going to call them because that's what they are, okay? They will do anything their Queen Bee tells them to do. They will do anything that Queen E tells them to do. You know, who do we got to roll up on? You know, remember, according to the email and according to post, this is the white girl hood here up on YouTube, even though content creators are very diverse. Very diverse. Um... She was saying that, and I believe it was aimed and directed at me. All right, fine. Yeah, I'm white. I'm a girl. But you know what else I am? I'm real. I have friends, not followers. I'm not a leader. I never plan to be a leader. I just want people to open their eyes, think logically, be respectful, be real, because we're not perfect. And the other thing is... I'm helping people heal and realize that they're not alone, okay? I received a comment the other day and I just need to, I need to share it with you guys because it, it really, it really hit me in a very positive way and I'm sorry I'm getting emotional right now, but um, one of you guys told me that you've told your therapist about me and how you found a more positive way to deal with the aftermath of your MLM experience than what you were previously doing. You were able to talk through your emotions. You were able to process what you were feeling. You were able to not be embarrassed and not feel ashamed because it's a learning experience. It is a learning experience. <laughs> I had to learn from it, and now I want to teach others how they can learn from it. And I want everyone out there to know it's okay. It's okay that you left this company. It's okay that you decided to stop being in a lose-lose situation. It's all okay. What's not okay is what happens to you after. After you decide to leave or after you get canceled. I'm sorry, paparazzi, but you are nothing but a bunch of mean girls in preppy clothes trying to be fashionable and trendy what you are are a bunch of mean girls 
and you guys don't see it because you are so wrapped up in it that you don't realize how mean you are. You don't realize how cruel you are. And I'm just going to say this. Shame on all of you. What you do to people matters. What you encourage others to do to people matters. And all I ask is that all of you mean girls out there, take a look in the mirror. You know, you guys ask me all the time in your mean emails, which I don't share a lot of, but I get a lot of mean emails. You ask me how I sleep at night. I sleep just fine because I never go on the attack, ever. I defend myself, yes. And I call out what is inappropriate behavior all the time, yes. But I don't send people your way to attack you the way you send people my way to attack me. Okay? I just don't. I don't dox people, even though I have been doxed. You know how many spam emails have been starting to come to my email address? So many, it's, it's unreal. I mean, I get like, I don't need rain gutters. Uh, I don't need solar panels. Um, I'm not a Republican, so stop uh, putting my email on fundraiser lists for Republicans, because I'm not. I'm an independent voter. I'm not affiliated with any party. But, you know, you guys think I'm MAGA! But I'm not. Um, I don't need penis enlargements, because one, I don't have one. But, you know, to the person who was spying on my friends and reporting them to compliance and tattletaling on them, I hope you're proud of yourself. Because here's the deal. I sleep just fine at night when I'm medicated and my body is not being a raging lunatic to me. But I want to know how all of you sleep at night. Do you, are you proud of yourself? Oh, look, I got this person caught. I sent them to compliance and bam, they got canceled. Are you proud of yourself for that? If so, give yourself a fucking pat on the back. But I'm just going to end this here. Shame on all of you guys who are just going out there playing paparazzi police. Let paparazzi police their own people. And if they can't do it, maybe they're too big for their britches. It's gross. I really need to get a thesaurus and find another word for gross. But it's gross. All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here. My soapbox is over for the day. I hope you enjoyed last night's live where we learned a lot more about my husband than I never thought we would. So anyway, if you haven't watched it, go hit the live tab on the channel and go watch last night's live. You'll get to hear my husband talk about how he is a super virgin. <laughs> All right, so have a great day, you guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye.